yeah, I know I look like death. It's It's been an extremely um, long weekend. So, it is Monday. Um, one of the things I pride myself on on this channel is being very real. And I'm fucked for this weekend. I don't know what the fuck I want to play. Um, I'm going to have zero. Zero time to play test. And we have the Columbus Regional. It's going to probably be a 600-man event. Um, maybe 550. It's the first week of the new format, and here I am on week zero, freaking the fuck out. Now, the first comment I'm going to see for most people is going to be, well, Robbie, why don't you take this week to playtest? Can't happen. Um, I have a lot of personal things that need to be taken care of. Um, I have a lot of orders that need to be filled, um, for inventory, and a lot of sorting that needs to get done. So, that, of course, takes precedence over playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Now I do like to make these videos um, because uh, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, you know, something I kind of lost sight of over the years um, was just being able to talk about my experiences in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I wanted to constantly remind people that much like a real human being, I can get fucked very easily. And um, I have an idea right now of what I want to play. I'm kind of leaning towards ABCs. Yes, I know ABCs kind of lose to fucking 60 card infernoids. You're right. Um, that's the reality of the situation. Um, and I currently do not know all of the new zoo combos, nor do I know if I want to spend a little bit of time kind of learning those combos. So it's kind of the situation at the moment. I know that there's a zoo variant floating around. I also do not have a good list. I do have a playtest group. Now, this this is one of the advantages of having friends that are fucking good at this game. You get access to the things that they know, and it is up to you to analyze that information and decide if you want to, I guess, necessarily learn the things that they've learned in the short attention span or have them teach you. Um, a good example of this was we, we had a friend that hadn't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in probably two years. Um, so, in Necro's format, we took him to a, uh, giant card tournament. Uh, he ended up getting third place, uh, in the two-hour drive. Um, uh, my one friend taught him everything he needed to know about the deck. Um, obviously, uh, one of the th cool things about Necro's format was, um, you could technically play ignorant to a lot of situations. And I think that's one of the reasons why my friend did so good was, if my opponent was trying to bluff that they had the Valkyrius, he was so oblivious to the fact of that play that he just really didn't give a fuck. I, I, I look back at this situation a lot, and I think it was really fucking cool um, for a guy that, because so many people were so fearful of the situation because they had they learned the format so much, to have a person come into the situation with bare minimal knowledge of situations and to be able to just play off of not knowing necessarily what's going on or knowing that the fear and just being able to play in those scenarios in which you think is the most optimal play based on what you already know is really interesting and I guess it proves that in this game that if you overthink certain situations that you can get punished for it and I definitely think that to be the case um, you know reading through your opponent's bluff that your opponent's bluffing is it's definitely really interesting and cool to me as a player. Um, so remember, guys, so sometimes too much playtesting can bite you in the ass. And you know, I'm I'm not saying that's an excuse for this weekend. I just think that it's very fucking cool that shit like that has happened in the past. So back to the current situation at hand. Um, I do have access to probably a couple of zoo things. Uh, I know it is Monday here and a few people are still going to be playtesting through the week. Um, it's definitely very much situation. I'm not asking my Yugi tubers to, you know, help me out. It's just, I know how to play ABCs. They I, um, I could play 60 card lawn mowing Minerva, but my friend that constantly comes over here and playtests with me is currently using the Minerva, and I don't want to take that away from him. I'd rather, he's going with me to the regionals, I'd rather have him have a chance when, you know, I have Zoo, I have ABCs, I have Invoked Wind Witch. Um, artifact like there's a lot of things that um, I can play um, for a lot of good options and I'm just hell, I even have fucking Paleozoic uh, I'm pretty sure you don't have to be a good player to play Paleozoic to be honest with you it's just normal summon swamp frog dump if your opponent has the one maxi well you're better than me 
you know, that's kind of how I feel in that situation. AB Paleo would be a good deck. Um, I definitely do like set five decks. Paleo seems like it'd be a good deck for me. Oh, Pot of Desires. Uh, things like that tend to... Maybe, eh, you can get there. And, you know, if you already know everything from last format coming into this format, it'll technically be good. Uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm holding a Sharpie, uh, it was the nearest thing I grabbed for Nervous Tendencies. So, outside of that, yeah, um, I feel like I'm fucked for this weekend. Maybe I'll play Paleo. I'm about to play some multi-swap frogs and some common dupe frogs, because why the fuck not? I, I don't have super dupes, which is really weird if I go down that path. And, um, two totally awesome. Fuck it. Um, if I make three, well, I guess I'm fucked if I... I kind of want to play Paleo now. It seems really fun. God. I could just play... I was also thinking about barrier statues. Um, Fossil Diamond is one of my fucking favorite cards in this game. Um, some days. Sometimes I like Fossil Dyna. Sometimes I don't like Fossil Dyna. Some days Fossil Dyna is a piece of shit and is so low attacked that I hate it. And other days, you know, just some, sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh is Yu-Gi-Oh with Fossil Dyna. Sometimes your opponent's just better than you. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about uh, running my uh, Moist Cyberstain deck. Um, this was something that one of our friends won at Locals from another friend who was like, here, I'm going to give this to the winner. Um, this is actually a very good card. It is a dork. It has, I believe, what appears to be uh, three-fourths of a star here. Um, he's a machine wash infect. Um, when this card destroys an opponent's monsters, is all a battle. And sends it to the grave. And special number one clown bird from your deck to help dig the monster's grave and go through his pockets for any spare... Change before burying him. He has 7.512 attack points. His defense is 4.867. And that is the beauty of this new tech. Moist Cyber Stain. Man. Fucking new hot Yu Gi Oh tech cards, man. Um, no, being able to summon a monster from the deck is very crucial to a lot of today's game scenarios. Um, I definitely think that that card would be better used on a normal summon than a rat peer. Um, absolutely no reason to not consider playing it. Um, 7.512 attack points. Um, at least if they book a moon it, it has 4.867 defense. And with it being uh, 3 force of a star, I don't have to really worry about anything that would affect monsters that are 1 star and above. So I think in today's game state that that card might be a very, very important tech choice to today's metagame. So... Man, fucking Paleo. You know, like, fuck. Always gotta drink that water. Salute the Paleozoics. You know, one thing I didn't understand is why the fuck do we not have Feather Duster in the TCG? Fucking Japan gets to have Feather Duster to check Paleozoic. I mean, while every fucking asshole in America that's playing Paleozoic opens their hand and goes, doop, 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 doop. Like, what the fuck do you do? Just some days Yu-Gi-Oh sucks. I I also don't know if in week zero format that if Paley or if Zoo even has like we know Zoo is still good. That to every person out there that thinks Zoo is an awful deck, no. The Zoo literally just got the fucking first round of the Necros treatment. They're still going to be a very relevant deck, and I'm sorry to bring that to you and put it on your desk you know here's the fucking memo that you guys missed yeah necros and the first round of the hits on zoo it's still fucking deck you know there's no reason why you can't play an engine that still gets you fucking an insane amount of card advantage i think a lot of players seem to discount the fact that oh my god rat went to two yeah rat went to two fucking hurt you know, it was honestly one of the only things that they had to do. And this is going to lead me into another video topic another day about Konami seeming like... Konami America is doing something right. And I said this on my video with Simo, uh, that I really like the fact that they're not necessarily un or hitting cards that don't need to be hit. Paleozoics are a pain in the ass in today's format. You know what? In a month, they're not going to fucking do shit. 
Um, I definitely think that's the proper stance that this game should be going. Now, they need to start unbanning some old things and revisit some of these things because there's still no fucking reason why Stratos and Shred should be banned. Alright, um, that's everything I have to say for today. Um, I, I know this just seemed like a big giant fucking QQ video. Fucking Robbie's crying about fucking not having anything. Just some of the realities of the situations. It's it's very interesting to just sit here and just kind of vent and describe my delusions. Kind of want to play Paleozoic now. Um, yeah. So what do you guys think? Um, leave a comment down below. Obviously, I do read the comment section. I know you guys are complaining about me not putting part one in my SEMO videos, but if you guys, I, you guys watching it, you guys, you guys know what you're in for. You know, you see, see SEMO on the cover. You know, why, why are you mad though? I, I don't get it. You know, those collaborations are meant to be something that me and SEMO, it, it's a little time that we enjoy together. God, that sounds so bad. You know, our, we get to bond, we get to, you know, build connections with our channels. And it gives you guys a good discussion for those of you that uh, like SEMO. There's always the one guy that comments, it's like, I disliked because fucking SEMO's in the video. But, uh, you do you, baby. You do you. Alright, I'm out. Peace. Peace. That's not all, folks. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Please check out my Cardfight Vanguard channel, VanCole40. You guys will get an insight in our playtesting sessions. And please check out the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. That way you guys can follow the House of Champions and MCOL40 Interactions. Please check out MCOL Games for all of your guys' trading card game needs. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please check out my Patreon in the description. Every bit helps to the creation of these videos. One step at a time and improvement, and that's the goal of this channel. Alright guys, have a good time, and thanks for watching.